Hi everyone, welcome to Morning Manna. I'm Jeff Christensen, the Hope Mill site pastor. It's good to be with you this morning. In our current sermon series on the book of James called Faith Works, we've talked a lot about how our lives are transformed by Jesus' work of salvation. Maybe you've noticed, but we've also referenced Ephesians 2 in every message to emphasize that we're saved by grace, not by works. This week in Morning Manna, we wanna take a deeper look at Ephesians 2. Over the next three days, I'm gonna talk about grace and just how good God is. And then Pastor Nick Ertel is gonna take the following three days to talk from Ephesians 2 about how our hearts should respond to this grace. So we're gonna start the week by looking at grace in three parts, namely salvation, justification, and union with Christ. And today, we wanna unpack salvation. Ephesians 2 verses 1 through 5 say, And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. This passage says that we were dead in our trespasses and sins and were pursuing evil. We were enemies of God and we in no way deserved his goodness and love. Our sin and rebellion had made us spiritually lifeless and there was nothing that we could do to change our condition and achieve peace with God. And it's in that condition that Jesus loved us, came to us, and saved us. I'm reminded of Romans 5, 8 that says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus, who the Bible says knew no sin, died on the cross as a criminal, a lawbreaker. He died this death in our place paying for our sins to wipe away our debt with God. That means that God now sees us as sinless because Jesus paid the price for us. The death of Jesus on our behalf means that God has forgiven us from all our sins and the slate is wiped clean. This is a crucial part of the gospel and it is good news. This means that we who are trusting Jesus as our Lord and Savior can go to God unafraid and without shame, that we have an eternity in His presence to look forward to. As you go about your day to day, remember that God loves you and has forgiven you. Not because you do the right things or because you've been a good person. God loved you before you knew Him, while you were dead in your sins. Jesus died on your behalf to save you and to give you eternal peace. This is good news. I'll see you tomorrow morning for part two.